Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, we're checking out the basement area of the asylum. It's quite expansive, and we found a ladder that we can go down in the boiler room. So let's go and see what mysteries we can find below. Either we found a black hole which regurgitates twisted spoons, or we found someone trying the old dig your way to freedom method. It doesn't look like it's going that well. We can only look at the twisted spoons or the hole. So let's look at the spoons first. Maybe we found another inventory item. This looks like Yuri Geller's cutlery draw. For some reason I pictured it not being a hole. Who did this to you? Not surprisingly, the spoons aren't going to answer back. Can we use them? Maybe we can start digging our way to freedom. These spoons are useless now. Not if we straighten them. And that's a quest that will be just as long and arduous as trying to find a use for that paper cup. Can we take one of these? These spoons are going nowhere. They've gone to meet their maker. These are X spoons. I recognize that reference game. Well played. Let's check out the hole. It's dark down there. Did I see something moving just now? You may have done. All that may have just been your imagination. Can we go down the hole? Hmm. I'd rather not. I might not be able to get out again. And I've been cooped up in a hole long enough. Good point. Let's try and take the hole. I'd rather not. If I had a hole in the inventory, I'd lose all my useful items. That makes a lot of sense. If there's someone moving down there, or something moving down there, let's try and have a conversation. Hello? Anybody home? Oops. Si? Que tal? Hello? How are you? Well, that confirms that somebody's trying to get out of here, and they're very well equipped. They even have a miner's helmet with a little light. Who are you? And who might you be? My name is Almilio Sanchez, the mobile group, but most people call me Almighty Ruler. Can I call you Almo for short? If that's what you like. And you are? Call me Edna. Is that a nickname too? It stands for especially dumb nut Almilio. I don't get it. Hello, Almo. How are you? What are you doing down there? It's kind of obvious, but I feel like I need to ask. What's your business down there? What does it look like? I'm digging a tunnel to freedom! Unfortunately, I've struck a layer of hard clay. I won't be able to go on without the proper tool. And I ran out of spoons. You don't happen to have a spoon, do you? I have a lot of things that are sort of like spoons, but I imagine you're going to specifically want a spoon. Also, the fact that you mentioned hard clay probably means that we're going to need hard clay at some point. That's just me guessing, though. Let's ask him how the project's going, even though he's just told us that he's hit a bit of a snag. So, how's your project going? To be honest, miserably. I've struck a layer of hard clay. I won't be able to go on without the proper tool. And I ran out of spoons. You don't happen to have a spoon, do you? We definitely don't, but we are going to try every item that we have to see if it's a suitable enough replacement. Now let's ask the obvious question. Surely there's a better way to go about escaping. And then again, we haven't managed to escape yet, so maybe this is the best way. Don't you think there's a more convenient way out of here? Forget it! The front door is always guarded and the back door is permanently locked. The only key to that is carried by a guard named Bladder, and he's more stubborn than a mule. But even if you could wrangle the key out of him, which is a big if, you'd still have to get over the wall or the main gate. Believe me, a tunnel is the fastest way. Unfortunately, we can't wait for you to finish that tunnel, so we're going to try and find a different way out. But good luck! Good luck! I'll look for another way. You won't find one. We'll see about that. 
Now that we've talked to uh, Almo, let's use all of our inventory items on the two things that we can interact with here, the spoons and the hole. Let's start with the spoons. What do you make of these spoons, Harvey? Nothing much. I don't like this handcrafted jewelry from tacky arts and craft shows. I don't think that's what they are. Let's use the polo mallet on them and straighten out those spoons. These spoons are useless now. We'll see about that. Everyone says the paper cup is useless, but I found plenty of uses for them. Like, um... Hey, let's use the pen on the spoons. Maybe something will happen. These spoons are useless now. I get the feeling that's going to be our reaction from every single item. Comic book? Captain Useless can twist reality by the sheer power of his will. That is a very powerful will indeed. Can we arrest the spoons? These spoons are useless now. I think almost every item is going to have that reaction. What about the paper cup? These spoons are useless now. Not even the paper cup will elicit a reaction. Fair enough. Let's start interacting with the hole. Does this hole remind you of anything, Harvey? Yes, it has roughly the same shape as your memory. Well, it's hole-shaped anyway. Is it as large as that? I hope not. We don't want a hole that big in our memory. Let's use the polo mallet on the hole. What's the worst that could happen? A lot. Hello? Are you still down there? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. That's supposed to be a spoon? Not really. I can't use that. I need a spoon for tunneling out of here. And for my taco flakes too. This constant digging makes me pretty hungry. You've got to wonder what a cereal called taco flakes consists of. Probably tacos, but you never know. It might not. Okay, if you can't use a polo mallet, surely you can use a pen. Hello? Are you still down there? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. That's supposed to be a spoon? Not really. I can't use that. I need a spoon for tunneling out of here. And for... Okay, no different dialogue there at all. Can we give you a comic book to read? In this panel, we see Captain Useless challenging a black hole. Be careful with the needle and thread, handy boy. I wonder who won. Probably the black hole, but you never know. Hello? Are you still down there? Is this one going to be different? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. That's supposed to... Not me. I can. I need a... And... Okay, nothing different with the pot holder. Can we put mustard down there? Hey! Yes, we can. Ha <laughs> ha. What about ketchup? Hey! The same reaction, but just as funny. Time to arrest the hole. Sometimes, Sheriff Conrad tinkers with the idea of packing in her job as a cop. But then, she remembers all the lives she saved. And the donuts. And then, you decided to keep working. We can't use the cornflakes on the hole. Let's use the form on the hole. Maybe Elmo can sign it for us. Hello? Are you still down there? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. That's so Not me. I can't. I need a hand. Of all the things that we could offer him to dig a hole, that is the one that has the least chance of working. That one has the most chance of working, so we're going to try that one last. What about the key? Hello? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. Much better. It's a key. And how, pray tell, am I supposed to dig a tunnel with a key? Don't waste my time. I could think of many ways that you could dig a tunnel with a key, but never mind. That does confirm at least that some of them will provoke a different reaction. So let's try and use the fork. It's a pretty good thing to dig holes with. I'm sure it'll be a suitable replacement. 
Then again, Elmo is pretty adamant on it being a spoon. Hello? Are you still down there? That he is. What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. Close. It's a fork. A fork? I can't use a fork. In order to dig a proper tunnel, one needs a spoon. I got it. Like with spaghetti. I think you're just being picky, Almo. A fork would have done just fine. What about a knife? It's already a hole. Fair enough. Can we use a toenail? Dios mio. We can put it down there, but... Actually, we didn't put it down there. We still have it. But it didn't help. What about the water cup? This one's quite like a spoon. Sort of. Apart from the fact that it will fall apart almost immediately. Let's give it a go! Maybe this is what we're meant to use it for. Good riddance. Hey! This is in a landfill! It will be if we put enough paper cups in there. Now let's try the pot. Hello? Are you still down there? This might work. What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. It's something similar to a spoon. It's a pot. A spoon pot. A spoon pot? Yeah, it's particularly handy when it comes to soup. Less dirty dishes, if you know what I mean. No thanks. No pot in the world can replace a spoon for me. I get a feeling this guy really likes spoons. Could you tell? Also, we no longer have our cup. We're gonna have to go back and get that. But it won't be too far of a diversion because we're heading up that way anyway. It's time to use that key and open the door to the room that Dr. Marcel goes into every day. And it's not that difficult to get there. We have to go down this corridor and up the stairs, though we're going to go one floor higher to go and get a paper cup. After all, we need that cup if we're going to properly explore that room. You don't mind if I grab one of these, do you? Of course you don't. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. We'll see about that. With that in our inventory once more, it's time to use the key on the door. Hopefully this works, and then it doesn't work, and I have to wonder just what this key is for. Let's see. Wow, that really worked. Brilliant, and now that is a move through the door icon when you hover over, which means that if you'd unlock this door before putting the ketchup and the mustard and try to write on it, you probably wouldn't be able to do that. Let's go in and see just what lies beyond. Oh. Well, I think I know what happened to Alfred. Yep, definitely know what happened to Alfred. There's Alfred. Let's start looking around the room. Also, is that moving? That's moving. Okay, let's start looking at the things in here, beginning with the dragon? Alfred was very clumsy with this kite. That little putz was a clumsy oaf, period. I think that's meant to say kite, unless that is a specific type of kite. I don't think it is. It doesn't tell me much. Not surprising. The wind is unfavorable. The wind is non-existent because the windows are closed. Can we take it? The wind is unfavorable. That doesn't stop you from taking it. Does this kite stir any memories, Harvey? Hmm, nothing I can put my finger on. Let's keep on looking. Fair enough. I can see one thing that we're probably going to want to examine in that case, but we'll look at that last. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a small dent? Nah. We're not going to be able to destroy any of these things. That makes sense. And if we try to use the pen on this, it's probably not going to let us do that. No. How? Nope. Indeed. We're mostly going to be looking at things in here, it seems. Let's look at the bike, shall we? Alfred got this great bike from his father. Mine was from the junkyard. 
That does look like a pretty spiffy bike. Look at me, Edna, Edna, I'm riding. Will you let me ride for a bit, Alfred? Look, Edna, skid marks, skid marks. Just for a tiny bit. Look, Edna, no hands, no hands. I get the feeling these two didn't get on very well. Can we use it now? No, I've gotten over it. Fair enough. Can we take it? We could get around the asylum so much faster with this. No, I've gotten over it. Fair enough. And before we use items on that, I'm going to see if we can arrest the kite. There should be a law against willful erasing of memories. Isn't there already one? Uh... I think we've already had that. Fair enough. So we're pretty much going to have the same reaction for all these items, I wager. Harvey, what do you think of the bike? Does that remind you of anything, Harvey? Only that the little horse's rear end never let us ride his bike. But that doesn't help us much. Let's keep looking around. I'm sure we can find a useful memory. We probably can. There's a pillow that we can look at here. If ever I need an imprint of Dr. Marcel's knee, I know where I can get it now. Marvelous. I doubt we're ever going to need one. Sure. As soon as I'm out of here, I'll have a week-long talk with my pillow. Excellent plan. This is Dr. Marcel's shrine, not mine. That it is. Nah, it smells like Dr. Marcel's aftershave. Makes sense. Harvey, can you glean anything from the pillow? What do you make of this, Harvey? Seems like knee imprints. Long worn, probably Dr. Marcel's. The last time he was here can't have been too long ago. The candles are still burning. Probably earlier today. Also, you shouldn't have this many candles lit and unsupervised. You should actually have none. This is a huge fire hazard. Now it is our pillow, even though we're not going to take it. I'm certainly not beating out Dr. Marcel's cushion. Fair enough. Looks like we can interact with this. Comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless fetching his spelt grain cushion from behind the oven. And that's a good point. Can we use the comic book on these? In this panel, we see Captain Useless trying hard to remember the passcode to the basement cave. That we can. Haha, <laughs> we can still interact with these a little. In this panel, we see Captain Useless. Or we can interact with them once. Fair enough. Can we use the pot holder on this pillow? I wonder if the doctor would notice if I swapped them. But that question will have to remain unanswered. Because I don't want the stupid cushion. It smells like Dr. Marcel's aftershave. You already said that once, but we want to know if it's possible. Can we use mustard on it? Yes, we can. What about ketchup? Brilliant. Now it's a much better cushion. Let's arrest it. Peculiar obsessions are no crime in their own right. Fair enough. What about the form? I don't think Dr. Marcel will sign it if I just leave it here. Are you sure? It's worth a try. No, there's no leak here. This stain is just Dr. Marcel's kneecap fluid. There's lots of ketchup and mustard, though. We still have the key as well. This is only for the door. Fair enough. What about the fork? Aha! It now has holes in it. And we've tore a hole in it. And we've hit a toenail on it. And finally, the cup. I'll just put it here. Maybe the doctor would like to take out his wooden eyeball when he gets back. He has a wooden eyeball? I didn't know that. Hey, we learn something new every day. Now, we can't look at the candles, but we can look at these baby teeth. Let's do that. That's sick. Let's talk to them. This is probably not going to be a great idea. There's no mouth. Indeed there isn't. What? Yeah, I'm not surprised that was your reaction when I tried that. Let's try pick them up. No, I think that's undignified. Fair enough. Harvey, anything to say about the baby teeth? What do you make of this, Harvey? 
That is unsanitary. It is ugly. And still, I don't like it. I think I'm going to be sick. You? Being sick? That's a rarity. Let's check to see if we could do anything with these items here. Yeah, I remember removing one of them using a similar technique. To be precise, he lost two, but the second one wasn't planned. I got grounded for a whole month. The first one was planned? What were you up to? There. I've numbered them consecutively. That was long past due. How did you know which ones fell out first and which ones fell out last? That's a question I probably don't want to know the answer for. In this panel, we see Captain Useless entangled in his dental floss. I still don't know why that picture is moving. We can interact with it, so we'll probably get our answers at some point. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, I removed one of them using the same technique. You could still see the red stain months afterwards. Boy, was Dr. Marcel mad. I can imagine. Mustard? Hmm. They don't seem to be hungry. I'm not surprised. Ketchup? Hmm. They don't seem to be hungry. Maybe they don't like extra things in their food. Time to arrest them for that. That's a job for them laboratory types. Indeed. And we don't have those skills. Let's put the form in there. If I bring one of those to the group session, the therapist will flunk me in a heartbeat. Fair enough. That makes sense. Can we put them in the pot? I don't want to refill them. I don't want to take them with me. To be honest, I don't really even want to bother with them. And yet, we're bothering with them. What about the key? This is only for the door. We're probably going to get that for everything in here. Fork? Yeah, I removed one of them using the same technique. I desperately wanted to find out if it would grow back a second time. And then you got into a huge amount of trouble. What about the knife? Yeah, I removed one of them using the same technique. If Alfred hadn't woken up, I would have managed a couple more. You really didn't like each other, did you? No, you did not. What about the toenail? Hmm. They don't seem to be hungry. We confirmed that with the other two things, but it was best to be thorough. Finally, the cup. I don't want to refill them. I don't want to take that to be honest. The same reaction as with the pot. And so, when we come back, folks, we've had a bit of a revelation as to how Alfred's doing. Unfortunately, Alfred is gone. And when we come back, folks, we'll keep examining things in this shrine. Like the urn, the portrait, the various photos, and eventually, the homework ledger. I feel out of all the things in here, that one is going to be the most important. Remember that we need to learn how to forge signatures. And we need to find something from our past. Specifically, our schoolwork. That looks like schoolwork to me. Let's just hope there's a strong enough connection. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.